Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about what to do when your iPhone won't hard reset. Doing a hard reset on an iPhone means to force an iPhone to turn off and then turn on. This is a useful trick to troubleshoot software-related problems that unexpectedly happen. Sometimes, however, the iPhone hard reset is not working. What's the reason behind that? How to fix iPhone hard reset not working? Now, keep watching the contents below. Why won't your iPhone hard reset? First of all, you press the wrong buttons to hard reset your iPhone models. Second, the buttons fail to work because of the phone case or damage on them. Third, the device battery needs to be charged. Fourth, you can't hard reset the iPhone because the system files go awry. Fifth, your iPhone has a more serious software issue or hardware damage that can't not be solved by a hard reset. Thankfully, you can get your device booting and running again on your own. So here's how to fix an iPhone that won't hard reset. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step. Besides, if you have any questions, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Confirm the standard hard reset steps. If you're assured that you use the right button combo, move to the next fix. If you are not, take a few seconds to check if you do it right. Depending on different iPhone models, the steps to hard reset are varied. In an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. In an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, press and hold both the volume down button and side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. In an iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. It's common to make some mistakes if this is the first time you hard reset an iPhone. So, relax and attempt a few more times. Let iPhone charge and hard reset again. Few users will notice the battery percentage before they do a hard reset. However, the truth is that your iPhone will refuse to perform a hard reset when it detects that it has enough power. If you are one of them, try charging your device with a MFI certified lightning cable. When the battery reaches around 30% to 50%, try to follow the steps in the fix one to perform a hard reset on your iPhone while keeping it on charge. If the battery is the cause, you should find that the iPhone hard reset works now. Have a phone case? Remove it. A hard reset just requires the physical buttons on the iPhone to work. No additional tools. No need for iOS software to take a part in. So, when your iPhone hard reset doesn't work, take a look if the buttons don't respond. One common case is that the phone case makes the buttons stuck. If you have one, carefully take it off. After that, let your iPhone hard reset by pressing the right button combination. Try the recovery mode troubleshooting options. Most users will choose to hard reset an iPhone when it has problems. For example, the screen is frozen, apps get stuck, black screen issues, and so on. Some of them can be easily resolved after the device is turned off and then switched on. However, it's not the same thing if you're experiencing a harder software-related problem. For that, the iPhone's built-in recovery mode can help you out when hard reset is not working on iPhone. It could help target the root of the issues and clear them through doing an update or a restore on the device. Now, fire up a PC or a Mac computer. Make sure you have the latest version of iTunes installed or Finder and open the program. Connect your phone to a computer via a cable. Next, we'll introduce the steps to enter recovery mode. Find the steps compatible with your iPhone model and go follow. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Once in recovery mode, go to your computer and you should see a dialog box opening up from iTunes or Finder. If you select the update option, it'll install the latest iOS software on your iPhone without deleting anything. If you select the restore option, it'll install the latest iOS software on your iPhone and erase everything on the device. Our suggestion is to choose the update option first and then go with the restore option if the update fails to save you out. Finish the steps that follow until the update process starts. This might take a long time. If your device exits recovery mode midway, 
Just repeat the steps to enter recovery mode again and continue the restore process. Once done, let your iPhone restart and see if your iPhone goes back to working order. Contact Apple experts and see what they say. Till now, you've done everything you can do. If the iPhone hard reset still does not work or the issues that occur on the device remain after a factory reset, it often indicates that there is a hardware problem with the iPhone. Potential reasons include faulty buttons, some interior parts loosing, or the components getting wet. If you can't pinpoint the culprits, just contact Apple online, or go to an Apple Store or authorized service provider for diagnosis and repair. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on what to do when the iPhone won't hard reset. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.